All right, 71 through 74. Which scatter plot best represents a model of linear growth? So linear and growth are our two key words. I see C is not growth, all right? That's decay or that's decreasing of some kind. D has no, has no correlation, okay? So between A and B, which one's more linear? B is way more linear than A. A is more exponential and B is more linear, okay? 72, which statement best describes the comparison of the function f of x and g of x? So f of x and g of x. So let's look at our options. The values of f of x will always exceed the values of g of x. Well, it looks like f of x is always greater than its g of x partner. So we'll look at that one. The values of g of x will always exceed the values of f of x. That's definitely not true because here g of x is less than f of x. And that's true for all of these. The values of f of x exceed the values of g of x over the intervals 0 to 5. The values of g of x, well, that's kind of true, right? Because we're exceeding from 0 to 5. Or, or we don't know 5. we got to find 5. So let's find 5 real quick. So I'm adding 2. So 8 plus 2 would be 10. And let's see. Um, plus 1, plus 3 plus five, plus seven, so minus two, minus two, um, minus two, or plus two, sorry. So this is quadratic, and this is linear. So the pattern would be to add nine, so six plus nine would be 15. So the values of f of x exceed the values of g of x. Well, that over well that's not true because f of x now at 5 is less than g of x at 5. All right, let's go back to A. The values of f of x will always exceed the values of g of x. We've just proven that's not true because finally f of x, when we go to x is 5, is less than g of x. And the values of g of x begin to exceed the values of f of x within the interval 4 to 5, which is what we just proved. Okay, so going from 4 to 5, f of x goes from 8 to 10. g of x goes from 6 to 15, however. So 15 is greater than 10. So d would be my option. All right, 73. Which scatter plot best represents the model of exponential growth? So exponential and growth are keywords. C is not growth. Um, d or B is kind of linear. We want exponential. D does not really show any kind of correlation. And A, you can clearly see an exponential function, exponential growth. So A would be our option. All right, look at the function f of x and g of x. Which transformation of f of x makes, all right, so f of x less than, all right, so let's think. If I were to graph these, here's x squared and plus three, all right, something like that. So this would be my exponential, that would be my quadratic. All right, I want this one to be less than this one. So I need this one um, to be less than, sorry, I need the quadratic to be less than the exponential. Um, so let's plug in some values. Let's use um, maybe 1, okay? Um, so if I plug in 1, I get 1 squared, 2 to the 1 is 2 plus 3, so 1 is less than 5. We're just trying to find how can I make this function always less than this function? Well, what if it was down here? How can I move it to be always down here, okay? Um, so this one says to smush it. Well, if I were to just smush it, that really wouldn't do much, right? It's still greater at points. This one says to stretch it. Well, that really doesn't do much. This one says to reflect it. Well, now we're talking. Now I see that my function's always less than this function. So B would be my option.